Hello, oh, good evening and welcome. Um, just doing a little bit of recording from the kitchen as a as an intro to my latest video. Um, bit different today. It's not necessarily one adventure. We've I've been I've been out four times. Each time into Warncliffe Woods, which are really local to me. Um, I've been on my own twice. Took kids. Took Oliver and Ella once, and took just Oliver one other time. Um, so it's going to be a collaboration of different bits of footage from each of those walks. I, I, di I didn't always get a successful full video recorded while I were out. So I just thought I'd show you some of the best bits, some more more interesting bits. Um, we used the Catadown water filter on actual sourced water this time. We didn't just take the water with us and put it through the filter. Um, it would have been fine. Um, so that, that, was, that was quite good. Um, We've used the whisper light a couple of times, made hot chocolates, made teas, so that were good. Um, um, and and the response to my last video were great, you know, really big thanks for that guys. I, I, I'm now nearly 60 subscribers just after the last video, so I've gone up 10 subscribers in, in the last week, which for what I started this channel to be, it's just ridiculous. I can only say thank you. Um, so I hope, I hope you like what you're about to see. Um, we've had quite, you know, we've had a decent amount of fun. And some good adventures, so hopefully you'll enjoy. The stove is primed. Well, no, it's not primed. It's actually it's just lit. We need to prime it so we can get the um, get it going. Got my milk there. Let's get the. Uh, my, uh, my drinks cook out because we um, put that in. I bought all, I brought all the cooking set and everything, so I don't think we need all that. But we we will certainly need the um, we'll certainly need our cup. So this thing while I'm packing away, this thing <coughs> about three quid from Decathlon weighs absolutely nothing folds out into like a little kneeling mat or quad thickness, double thickness, immense for, for three quid, I think we're three quid so get one because they're mega. Hello, good evening, this evening we are in Warncliffe Woods which is just down the road from where I'm, ever so lucky to have all of this on my doorstep. It's only took me about 10 minutes to walk down here. Um, I've brought my pack just to make the walk a bit more difficult. I'm carrying about 10 and a half, 11 kilo of gear with me. Um, which, I mean, so far the, it feels good. Um, I ain't gone very far at all though, so. <laughs> The pack did off balance me quite a bit <laughs> and I nearly ended up down a couple of times. Now we get to his next obstacle and I don't know, I don't think this, this doesn't look passable. If, well it does if you fancy you're swimming across it but this thing here doesn't look particularly brilliant. Even with my waterproof boots on, it looks desperately deep. Um, just going to go and have a look. No, I, I don't think this is. Uh, I don't think this is going to be. No, we're already we're already to ankle there, and I know for a fact it gets it gets deeper than that. I'd like to get into foraging and you know picking my own berries, mushrooms and kind of just like seeing what mother nature has to offer for us to eat so to speak um, and I found a fabulous looking mushroom I'm not going to touch it I don't know anything about it I, you know you know I wouldn't recommend that anyone goes just picking random things and eating them unless you really know what you're doing um, but just have a look at this look at these bad boys 
Oh yeah, baby. They look absolutely quality. Like I say, no idea what they are. I'm not going to pick them, not going to touch them. I'm just going to look and admire what it is at the moment. <clears throat> They've got an insulator with them, which is good. So that'll, that'll help keep it insulated. What the? There we go, that's what we want. I'm going to doik that in the seed summit pan. <laughs> and throw a considerable amount of it down myself. Get that on. Get that on there. Final little stir with, with spork. Mmm. Tasty. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Hopefully we've got some good footage out botch to get us some kind of some kind of video for this. So we're here. We've met it. We're at base at Crags now. It's a bit difficult going, especially while I'm looking at camera trying to entertain all you lot. And I'm just tripping over every bleeding bit of rock going but that's part of it's part of fun and we have a magic view of a stocks bridge now we're just we're gonna get a bit higher and i'll spin camera around and show you all but i mean even just behind us feels fabulous but we'll have a look when we get a bit further up i just wanted to get out i just want to have a couple of hours um I've got some lighting with me as well. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got some lighting with me as well because I think it's going to go dark before I get back. Um, I'm not not looking at you. I'm just trying to make sure I continue to see where I'm going. I've not started the walk off via a path, so from when I entered the woods, it's quite difficult. It's been quite difficult going so far. So this is view from top at Crags. Where we are now, sadly there's a bleeding pile on it way, but not, we can see through it mostly. And that's overlooking the godly deep car in Stocksbridge. Just gonna fill us up, fill us uh, water filter up. One litre out of this absolute lush waterfall. Go on lad, keep going. We got it? Good lad. Ma magic. Is it freezing? <laughs> so Oliver's just going to have a quick drink of Warncliffe's finest. It's very out at dawn. It like well, it's going to taste like water, isn't it, you loon? Let me have a little swig. Oh, cold. Yeah. Straight out of that bag of there. That's better than your Yorkshire water version. Your council pot that comes out at tap. It's up there and then the trans Trail brings us up to this wonderful area where we are now. And what a grand area we are in. We haven't climbed right to the summit at Craig's. Um, Oliver wanted his dinner. Just took it into a bit of pork pie that we brought and uh, we've just we've made a bit of juice out of the the water that we took from the, the waterfall. I just have a climb up here. And I'll just show you down here. Fantastic view at Crags. If you've if you've not been up here, it's such a gentle walk. You should come and you can really appreciate what what we've got. Hello. Now, even though I said we weren't gonna. We've just climbed up there, and we've had it. Were, it was hard work. Oliver were like a climbing master, weren't you, pal? But little Alabop. Hello. Hmm. Ella found it quite difficult. <coughs> Excuse me, and we didn't. We didn't quite make it to the top, but we we got roughly to Craig's, but we didn't make it to where we were caught. See, problem one: if we if we got up and we 
find a way back down we'd came we didn't want to get stuck up there as we start to lose light probably got like another hour and a half worth of light um so we don't we didn't want to end up somewhere where we couldn't couldn't be so we're just gonna warm us hot chocolates up now um and a few biscuits and then be on his way So I don't know if you can see that, but we've got to a little plantation where obviously loggers have cut some trees down and they've re replaced them, which is, you know, very good. It keeps it sustainable. And after that little climb, I've instantly joined a path. So where I've not had easy climb up but I walked about another 20 yard I actually got to a quite boggy but relatively easy to pass I'm glad I've got some decent footwear on because this is boggy this bit here is like a bleeding boating lake look at that beggar that's path that We've happened upon a little shed thing which looks like it's a log store. Probably used a bit loggers. Not a major interest in there. Pretty decent, but not what I'm bothered about. I'm just going to carry on what the forging ahead. We're not going very far. Sadly, which is a bit, a bit upsetting. Having said that, there's an old saying that says there's more than one way to skin a cat. And luckily, I know a few. So, we're just going to have a bit of a mission and we're going to go and have a look at something else. YouTube. You okay, Oliver? <laughs> We're just getting back. Dudes have. Dudes seem to have had a good time. Have you had a good time, Ella? Mm -hmm. Ella? Have you had fun, baby? Yep. Yeah? <laughs> Look, Oliver, well, back there. And um, even though I've increased the pack weight up to about 15 kilo for today, I mean, we, we've drunk. We've drunk more than a litre of the water that I brought, so. We've eaten a few, a few of the biscuits, the pear, and a few little other bits, so we probably am um, probably not got rid of a great deal of weight, but I'm probably about 13 and a half kilo now, something like that. Um, I, th I thought that's what I started at, but I forgot I did the extra water bottles in. Sorry if you can just hear traffic from bypass, there's not a lot I can do about it, sadly. I can't stop from driving on it up there. and if you're bothered about watching me I'm gonna have to just keep up there <laughs> you're just gonna keep filming so here we go we're into like a little clearing bit now I thought I had a car many vehicles around here but might do a gear review next. Um, another micro review, the, the UL80 mat that I did, that's that's going up towards 150 views now, which ludicrous for an amateur like me to have got that many views on one video. I mean ludicrous. But obviously people are people have liked it. I've been I've been involved in some good discussions regarding mats and, and stuff like that as a result of that video, so I am um, I appreciate everyone who watched. We're just joining the Trans Pennine Trail now. As you can see, here we are. And we're heading this way. We're heading away from Wortley. And we've got a little bridge to tackle, like we did the other day. Here's Oliver. Hello, Oliver. 
Hi, Ella. Hi. So we've walked past Lowood's Club now, and we've come round and we're on. Uh, we just passed, walked over at River Don as well. Um, on a little bridge, checkered bridge as it's called, to, as it's known to locals. Um, even even half it's rained that much, even half's flooded. We've got Don just behind us there. The river. Not someone called Don. So I've had a good sweep of the area. I've made sure that I've left absolutely no trace. That was here, I'll just show you. You know, you literally can't tell that I've been here, that's when I was sat, that's where Whisper Light was. Just get these ruffled a bit, back up a bit, make it look, see, leave no trace, very important. And then we're going to head back down onto the trail now, and I'll talk to you very soon. So take care. And we're just going to go and find a little spot, and do a bit of a walk up the Trans Trail, up Warncliffe Woods, and then we're going to end up uh, find a little spot, set up a little base, have some hot chocolate, a few biscuits, and walk back. Aiming for about 5k today, 6k hopefully. We'll just see, see what happens. Weather's quite good, it is quite cold, but we're decked out in gear, so the, 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 the cold shouldn't stop us. I brought me my pack again just to continue like increasing you know walking with it on me stamina with it I'll tell you something it's got really dark really quickly just a car passing so so we've got to base at crags now here we are all the way up there and you can just see them just up there going up. I don't think we'll be able to get up with Ella. Um, I think me and Oliver could probably climb it but I don't think it's particularly safe to try and do so with Ella. So we're just going to carry on walking underneath them for today. Um, walk round, get some steps in. We can have a look at some at rock formations that's up here and stuff but we can't, I don't think we'll get up so. But anyway, Come on, let's carry on. Morning. <clears throat> Out on another local high Wonkliffe Woods again. Lost my bleeding selfie stick. Just going up a uh, different way up Wonkliffe today. On a different exploring different area. Got Oliver with me again. Say hello Oliver. Hi. So um we haven't got long today. Got school run very shortly so it's only going to be a quick one. Um, my new water bags arrived today, so quite happy, quite happy without me. My Ortlieb, I think that's how you pronounce it, it's a German company, four litre water bag. That'll be handy, just folds down to nothing. And then when I need to fill it up, it just clip on the bottom of my pack. Got my pack on again today, just carrying on with, with me like fitness and endurance. What do you think of your hot chocolate, Ella? Good. Yeah? yeah. What about you, Oliver? You just put yours down, haven't you, I for a moment? I haven't tasted it because it's a bit of a Yeah, it's nice and hot, isn't it? Just in a nice little clearing bit, just down front crags. If you can see a spot a few people down there through trees, walking up Pennine Trail. We're very close to, to, to everything, really. Um, and just up there, up there actually, that's where we climbed up and then climbed back down, so it's been quite a fun journey really, um, I'd say overall. Oh, just whisper lights just cooling down there, bless it. Um, yeah, so we're just going to finish these head, head back, I don't think I don't think we've walked that far, I mean, including climbing we might have done three and a half k something like that so i'm just going to get a few biscuits out because i've got a I've got a little pack of them so i want a few biscuits and then uh, we're going to be on our way i don't want to get lost uh, 
definitely don't want any search parties. So, I mean, main thing, I don't want to have to make a phone call to Mrs. and South flamingoed up. That's like a cock up, just bigger for all you Red Dwarf fans. I don't want to say I bagleted it up. Can you send someone to come and rescue me? So, we're joining now exactly where we were on Sunday in the last video. We've got. I don't even see that quite well enough. To the Trans Pennine Trail. Up this way. Up there. We will get to Wortley, which will take us up to Thurgland, where we were the other day. I'm coming through another tunnel now, only a very small one. Not very big at all. I've, got, I've, got, I've also got to say that the pack don't feel like I've even got it on. And if you remember where we started in Warncliffe Woods. Well, anyway, thanks for watching again. Um, I know they're getting a bit monotonous, just me rambling at camera and just walking about, but hopefully we get a, a few more locations to do some explores on and hopefully we get to do, to do a bit of camping. I guess that's down a old Boris, I suppose, letting us lift lockdown. Letting us, uh, sorry, lifting the lot and letting us get out. There's not a lot we can do in the meantime, though, is there? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm up to 58 subscribers now, which is somewhere I never thought I'd get to. Um, if I could make 60, I'd be up at the moon. And uh, just thanks for watching.